All right, guys, we are making a video on the skins for the Insta360 X3 camera. Now, it's something that I need to tell you guys before we get into it. The X3 has to be stripped of everything. What exactly is everything? Well, at the end of this video, if I need to remove, I have the new Insta360 removable lens guards. And the removable lens guards, if you guys can see, you see this black bezel here? If I take the lens off, if I remove the lens, you see all this that's left over? All of that, chances are, it's gonna have to go. When it comes to the adhesive from the microphone wind muffs, all you gotta do, guys, you see I pretty much got it off. All I did was, as I was, I was just rubbing the adhesive off with my finger. I was just doing this until it all eventually just kind of peeled away. So, these kits that we're about to apply, the vinyl kits, they come with alcohol pads, they come with drying pads. So you wanna make sure you use that around the entire camera, especially if the camera isn't brand new and it's been used. You wanna make sure you clean it up really, really good. That way the vinyl can um, can stick to the camera very well. If you guys have screen protectors over the screen like I do, you probably can't see it very well, but this does have a screen protector on it. That is totally fine. You do not need to remove your screen protectors. The brand that we're gonna be dealing with today for the vinyl sticker is Electronic Skins. Okay, it's gonna be precision cut or precisely cut vinyl. Uh, the presentation is really nice. They do have a link inside of here for you guys to actually like click on if you need you know help with doing this. I use these cameras often, not much so much the 360 cameras, but I have used them a lot. So they come with some tweezers and everything, guys. You can't really beat that. They have a QC code for you to scan or a QR code. And then it's got like a little blueprint letting you know, okay, so this part's gonna be this part of camera. Guys, all you gotta do is just follow what you see, like what you're gonna see me doing this video. I'm gonna use Insta360's Ace Pro camera. You know, since it's an Insta360 product, you're gonna go and use the Ace Pro to do the, the travel lapse or the time lapse of this whole video. So without further ado, this is actually a good idea hitting tweezers. I'm actually gonna keep these for when I apply skins to more cameras that I have. Anyway, without further ado, let's go on and get into it. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I am not, I'm not really happy with this. Like it's it's good quality, but it's not really good. I love how they had everything labeled, like with the letters and the numbers. That was really cool. And it, the diagram was very easy to follow. At the same time, this camera is missing so many, there's so many things like, I mean, good thing that the, the design is black and white. But if this was something like a little more different, where you don't really want as much of the black of the camera to show, um, it's just gonna, so, so look, I didn't have to remove the lens guard frame. They actually gave me enough space for the lens guard frame, so that's one. Um, another issue that I have, right along the sides here, you see all that black exposed? I just don't know why they couldn't make it so it covered up all the sides of the camera. All that black should be covered up. 
Um, I mean, other than that, really, it's fine. At least the holes were pre-cut, you know, for the microphones, front and rear. Well, it's just the rear. They got the hole cut out for that. I would expect that on the side here. This microphone is, you know, it's already pre-cut on both sides. It's, it's, it's okay. Right around the buttons, though, like, how come we don't have... I was expecting a little more out of that. That's all. Once you get everything lined up, once you have it all lined up the way you wanted to have it lined up, you go get your hair dryer. You, you just put a little bit of heat on it. Just kind of press along the sticker, like press on the sticker once you have it set where you want to have it set. If you guys want to use those microphone wind covers that I was showing you guys, the little wind muffs with the sticky stuff, that sticky adhesive is going to clean. It's going to rip that. It's going to rip this vinyl off. So. Now you can't use those things if you want to use this these types of stickers unless you just remove the sticker from where the microphone is then you can actually apply the microphone covers and you'll be good to go. So I know I probably shouldn't have to tell you that but for you people who want to use the microphone wind muffs from Insta360 you're going to have to remove the covers if you want to actually use those because that sticky adhesive that you have to apply to the camera is going to stick really good and anything can just pull it out. So. I'm going to go on ahead, I'm going to put the lens covers back on, give you guys some b-roll and then finish up the video. All right, guys. So you guys see what it is. It, it's 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 all right. It's not too bad. But anyways, um, temperature is important, guys. Clean, dry hands. You hear that? Some dry old hands. Tweezers. Yeah, these these really helped a lot. It better control over the adhesive depending on where exactly you're trying to place it on the camera. But um, it went okay, guys. Like I said, there could be more. I wish it came with a little bit more coverage over the camera. But, you know, using these action cameras, sometimes the vinyl gets a little beat up. Um, but without further ado, guys, if you guys have any questions, this is real cut, dry, and simple. I try to keep the video as short as possible, but try to be as, as informative as possible. So, uh, like and subscribe if you like the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. There are skins for the Insta360 X4 camera as well. That skin specifically was for the X3. That's why we applied it on the X3. Um, the X4 skins are going to be a little different, guys. Somebody might be asking me or want to ask me, like, will the, action, will the X4 skins work on the X3? You know, the X4 is a little bit of a bigger camera, so everything's going to be bigger. All the stickers and everything's going to be different. So if you want to, if you see a skin for the X5, that you, I mean, for the X, what am I talking about X5? If you see a skin for the X4 that you want to put on the X3, don't do it. It's not going to work. It's just going to be too big, and you, then your camera's going to look ridiculous. So without further ado, guys, that's all I got. Jalen Segway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.